Hi. Hi. We're sitting here with Mark Siegel, the president of the Los Angeles chapter of the American Parkinson's Disease Association. And we interviewed you last year. Was it a year ago, Mark? Yes, at the walk, after the walk. After the annual Parkinson's fundraising walk. Um, regarding deep DBS, deep brain stimulation, that he had had a year prior to the walk, two years ago. And this is a follow-up video, checking in with you, Mark, seeing how you're feeling. Um, give us a little recap of last year, uh, a year later, what you're feeling and uh, your impressions on success, what that means to you regarding sure. following up of uh, deep well, brain stimulation. Thank you. Yeah. You look great, by the way. Thanks. Um, the deep brain stimulation was very effective. I knew the moment I woke up from being anesthetized that I was better in a lot of ways. My face was relaxed. Instead of making faces and you know, scowling and, and you I, notice that yourself, the feeling of your yeah. face moving and lack of smiling or yeah, the mask. Mouse, Parkinson's mouse. And then um, my, I was curling up, I was holding my head down and my shoulders were going forward and uh, I get tremendous stiff necks in the back of my neck from, um, from the Parkinson before the surgery. How uncomfortable that might be. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. Uh, and that got better too upon the surgery. Uh, my neck was relaxed, I was hoping to hold my head upright and my arms are now more active than they were. What the surgery didn't do is it didn't really help me with my gait, my walk, and I fall now. So that's my most severe symptom is falling down. I just kind of lose control of the ground and end up flat down on it. I fall on my hands and knees and now I wear knee pads. Just Well, like initially, excuse me, but initially after, like let's say the, the year after the surgery following, did you, were you falling during that period? No, I started falling about six months ago. Uh, the first, one of the first times I fell, I fell and hit a windowsill with my mouth and knocked out my two front teeth. Dear me. I had six stitches in my lip. And I fall about once a day now, once or twice a day. Uh, and fortunately, I choose room, places where there's I can fall pretty safely, but you know, if there's an object, I fell once on I hit the side of a footlocker, going down and sharp, sharp, yeah, bruised a rib pretty bad. And I've also um, sometimes fall and catch myself on my bed and kind of hyperextend my back. So there's danger in falling. How, and, and how other how, how, how are there other uh, accidents that you had where you were, you were injured like? your arm, your leg. You mentioned something about knee pads. Yes, well, when I fall, the first thing that hits the ground is my knees. And so um, I've started wearing knee pads so I don't break a patella bone. Or... Um, do you, uh, so you, you're wearing knee pads and have you used a cane? I've used a cane and that's helpful, but um, the, what happens is I freeze with the cane. I have a problem, my falling is more severe when I'm going through doorways into other rooms or other environments, dramatically other environments, and um, in crowds. Mm -hmm. uh, I have a hard time in movie theaters exiting a movie theater because there's all these people in the aisle and there. Right. Well, what do you think when you, um, you you've mentioned it's, you fall nearly every day now, uh, the odds are against you that you um, will not have an accident? Right. Yeah, sooner or later. And uh, and what is it you do you consider the, the um, what what you can do uh, t to prevent falling? I'm, I'm sure you have. You see a physical therapist. Yes. Um, see physical are, are, you, are you are you concerned? Are you worried? Um, the ne the next time might be the time that something disastrous will happen. I, I hate to be pretending gloom, but it must be awful to fall every day and not imagine. Um, you, you could break something. Yeah, well, or I fear that, but I try not to live in fear. Yes. I, I try and, you know, 
How does it affect your family and friends? Do, well, do, I think do, my do. friends worry about me. Mm -hmm. my, my kids worry about me. Um, but, you know, I feel pretty capable. <laughs> Even though I have this disease and it's getting worse, I still kind of resent people helping me out a little bit. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, they take boxes from me. When right. I'm carrying no, I'm carrying them. I'm fine, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't need their help. And, it, you know, it's, it's one of these things that if you don't use it, you lose it. So right. I want to I wanna do weak things. I want to do strong things. And for me, it comes to a point in time where I have to let go of, of uh, what I was able to do and what I can do. Um, is that something you consider? Of course. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, and, and that's not just Parkinson's, that's, you know, it's aging. Aging, right. Right. Well, I think that um, giving up things is inevitable, but I sure hate doing it. Every time I realize that I, have, I can't do something anymore. It sucks. It sucks. Um, have, what have you, have you had a response to people who might have suggested, if they have, if there have been people suggesting that you use a walker? Uh, well, I have a walker. I got one for myself because I feared I was going to start falling, but it doesn't really work. What happens is I, the walker moves out, my feet stay still, and soon I'm sitting, I'm doing a push-up and push-up. Right. Push -up. Oh my gosh. So. And, and then someone will say, why don't you use a walker? Right. I do the same thing right. with shopping carts. They kind of roll out in front of me, and right. my feet don't follow. Oh. So, in essence, all, right, all in all, the, the DBS worked. Would you recommend it to, to people because you had a higher quality of life after it for a time? Well, apparently it doesn't work for the legs. So, mm. But if you've got if the Parkinson's, it's primarily in the head, neck, and arms, then I'd seriously consider doing it. I yes, think. because your upper body, I, it, can you give an example of what it looked like? It was... Last, one, one, last time before I saw you, the last time, the last time I saw you prior to the DBS, your head was moving quite a bit. Yeah. <clears throat> and that I is. I had a lot of head bobbing. I was curling up. Mm -hmm. My left arm was sometimes dyskinetic and moving around. Well, I think you're fabulous. You're an inspiration to all of us. And uh, the phone's ringing, so we've got to get it. And yeah. I love you. Love you. And we thank you for everything you do for us. No problem. Shaking away here. <laughs>